Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's kiki, which is my theory that Crystal Kong Minkoff is the epitome of a flip flopper. Has she returned to the dark side, aka the Fox Force 5 side? Again, let's just keep it light and fun. We'll be talking about the dark side versus the light side, but this is all just for fun. We're going to keep the Real Housewives light and fun. But has Crystal Kong Minkoff turned her back on her, quote, allies, Kathy Hilton, Garcelle Bouvet, and Sutton Strack in favor of Diana Jenkins, Kyle Richards, Erica Jane Girardi, and, of course, Lisa Rena. But before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a kiki is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, you guys, let's dive right on in. So as we know, the social media shenanigans have continued post Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion. We saw that, you know, Erica and Lisa Renna and Diana Jenkins posted this bizarre face app, face tune, Photoshop, scary, I don't even know what the heck is going on in this photo with these women. Um, post, and this was also the same post where Erica was really disrespectful towards Kathy. Kathy had just sent, you know, praying hand emojis and a heart on a person's comment, you know, talking about Kyle not sticking up for her. And Erica was the mean ice queen that she is and was being very disrespectful towards Kathy. This is that same post. So as we know, these guys, the thick of these guys are still thick as thieves. Don't forget the whole situation with Garcelle's son and Bachgate is still going on. Diana Jenkins put out her fake investigation results. That was a big nothing burger. Never said who was actually behind Botgate. It was pretty much there's an IP address and one Instagram account that has since been deactivated. Duh, Diana. Like, stop. Just stop. You're giving very guilty, guilty vibes, okay? So we know that. You guys, excuse me if I go in and out. I'm a little under the weather, but I wanted to get some content out for you guys. So if I sound a little down, I'm just a little under the weather. So give me some grace and bear with me. All right, you guys. So let's keep going. So we know that the Fox 4 5 is as strong as ever. I don't believe the lies that Kyle isn't talking to Erica or isn't talking to Lisa. I don't believe that. I think that's just what they're saying to save face. I think Teddy is still the mouthpiece of Kyle and all of that. So I still think that the Fox, Force, the Fox Force 5 is still as thick as thieves with Teddy, with Kyle, with Erica, with Lisa Rinna, and with um, Dirty Diana, and even Ding Dong Dorit. Don't forget, Dorit did go to Kyle's Buying Beverly Hills premiere. So they're still in cahoots. But let's look at the other side of things, okay? So as we know, Kathy Hilton recently had her holiday, um, you know, charity pajama party, right? And uh, she was partying with Kris Jenner. She was also partying with Kris Jenner um, during her, during Kris Jenner's birthday party as well. So they're still very, very tight. Don't forget about Tequila Gate when Lisa Rinna was like, my friend Kendall Jenner's tequila, and Kris Jenner basically was just like, I don't know you. My daughter doesn't know you. I'm team Kathy Hilton. Bloop. And then we have Giselle. I'm um, Giselle. Oh, my God. Sorry, you guys. I told you I'm under the weather. A little bit of brain frog, fog. Then we have Garcelle, a gorgeous Garcelle. She, of course, was supporting Kathy Hilton. So Kathy and Garcelle are still really, really close. They still have their own, you know, friendship going on, and it's great. Now, we've also seen, re and these are all recent posts, so these are what's going on right now. Then we also saw, you know, Sutton and Garcelle and, of course, you know, Jennifer Tilly, who is Sutton's really good friend. They're all hanging out at the polo lounge. They're all getting dinner and just having fun and just, you know, doing it right. So as we've seen, you know, Kathy, Garcelle, and Sutton are still super, super close. But one person that we haven't really seen either way has been Crystal Kong Minkoff. You know, why wasn't Crystal at 
the pajama party? Why isn't Crystal at these dinners? You know, where is Crystal? You know, Crystal's obviously been out here windmilling to keep her diamond, but where has she been? Now, before I show you where Crystal has been, don't forget that even though, of course, there's been blind items, there have been rumors and leaks and allegations, Bravo has not confirmed who's coming back for, for the next, for season 17 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills yet. It has not been confirmed. We can say we know who's safe, who's not safe, who's coming back, who they're going to bring back, who they're going to cast. But the truth is they have not made a definitive choice on anyone yet. You know, none of the contracts have been signed. I've heard that they're supposed to be signed right before Thanksgiving, which is literally next week, okay? And they're and they and as we know, they put um filming on pause and they're not going to pause, they're not gonna start filming until, you know, late January. So as of right now, we really don't know what the cast is going to look like. But I think it's really telling that, you know, as we saw, you know. Lisa and Erica and Diana are still thick as thieves. Kyle, I think, is still with them, but trying to distance herself publicly just to save face. Um, Teddy, as we all know, has been willing to come back on the show. And then we've seen these guys who are still thick as thieves. But where does Crystal Khan make off lie? Where does she, where is her allegiance, right? She wanted to, you know, at the reunion, you know, because she's Asian and Garcelle is Black, she wanted the same, you know, honor my experience the way you honor Garcelle's experience to Kyle and all of that stuff and the whole, you know, Sutton to something dark comment, but she wants, but now her and Sutton are back being friends. So she wants the cover of um, being, you know, Kathy Hilton's friend, you know, oh, I've known Kathy longer. I've known her for all these years. So you want the cover of being friends with Kathy Hilton. You want the cover of being friends with Garcelle and Sutton when the faux Fox five really didn't want to hang out with you or mess with you. They were the ones who were saying, you know, does she really have the e the ED? You know, if she's been struggling, how come she hasn't gotten any type of help? She told me this is happening. Oh, she told me this is happening. You know, what's going on with the 14 friends? You know, all of that came out. So there's that there. But let's see who Crystal has been hanging out with. She's been hanging out with none other than Dirty Diana Jenkins. So this is a post that Diana put on her Instagram account from November 10th. So literally like a week ago, she's hanging out with Crystal Kung Minkoff. So is this why Crystal has not been hanging out with Sutton or Garcelle? Is this why Crystal was not at... um? Kathy's pajama party because don't forget Kathy and Crystal have known each other for years particularly in that whole like you know Beverly Hills society things because her husband Rob he's the big Disney exec he has a lot of money he's in that world but we haven't really seen Crystal ha hang out with them a lot we saw it before you know during the reunion time you know during like October and September you know she was hanging out more with Garcelle and more in Sutton and all that stuff but now she's hanging out with Diana a week ago. And even Diana is still shading the hell out of her. Crystal, when are you going to learn? These women do not actually like you, boo-boo. They're not your friends. Diana literally said, my love, my best friend, and some rando lady called Crystal. And then she has three laughing emojis. So Diana still through all the shade in the world at you, Crystal, and you are sitting here laughing and smiling in this photo like doo doo the fool, like boo boo the clown, whatever you want to call it. Like, Crystal, these people do not like you. She literally sent the caption and some random lady called Crystal and three laughing emojis. She's played the hell out of you. Why are you still being a pygmy, Crystal? Why? Why? Why are you still being a pygmy? It's insane. And then it made me think about. An article I read in Reality Blurb, um, what Crystal Kalminko was saying. So let's go over just a couple of the points. We don't have to go to the entire article, but I did want to pick up certain things that she said, okay? Now let's go here. Let me find it real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so now it says here. It goes, as for Kathy's antics at the Aspen Club, where her alleged rant against sister Kyle Richards was sparked, 
Crystal said that she was the one who called for a van to take her co-star home. Quote, she was pissed. I saw her pissed off at, at whatever, but you can't hear anything she revealed. In addition to Kathy's meltdown being a hot topic amid Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12, fans also saw a number of the ladies of the show feuding with Erica Jane, including Crystal, who didn't understand Erica's handling of her legal situation with Thomas Girardi. That said, when asked if she likes Erica, Crystal said, quote, yes, I get to see different sides. I just don't like you saw I sometimes don't understand her position in things. I say it out loud, but I also drop it and we can still move forward. She shared. So she is saying like, hey, listen, I'm still friends with Erica. I like Erica. We're cool. So regarding the upcoming 13th season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yeah, season 13. I think I said season 17. You guys, my brain is a little foggy. <laughs> it's okay. So Crystal, Crystal commented on the potential returns of Denise Richards and Camille Grammer. Okay, now listen to what she says. I know Denise a little bit. I know Camille through another friend. They both bring a def uh, they both bring a definitely a different element. She said, um, but I don't know. I don't know the girls who are going to return from this year. Like, what's their motivation next year? If Rena is exactly the same as she is now, bring in Denise. But what if she adjusts? What if Lisa Renna adjusts Crystal? Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Why are you trying to give Lisa Renna, you know, the benefit of the doubt when she never gave anybody else the benefit of the doubt? Now she goes on to say this. This is how I know she's really with the Fox Force 5. She goes, then after calling casting a, quote, crapshoot and saying that the professionals um, would do whatever they want, Crystal noted that she... Always liked Eileen Davidson, even though she never actually met her. She seems very balanced, and I tend towards that, Crystal explained, before admitting she's also drawn to the crazy of Brandy Glanville. I like a little wildness. I'm not super wild, but I like to be around it, she revealed. Listen. Listen. <laughs> if Tell me you're not a sleeper agent for the Fox Force 5 without telling me you're a sleeper agent for the Fox Force 5. Now, where in the hell did she get the idea to bring back Eileen Davidson? Where did that come from? Nobody has been talking about Eileen Davidson. Eileen Davidson hasn't even said a word about this. But we all know that Eileen and Lisa Renna are very close. If they're still close, I don't know because Eileen has stayed very silent, but I think they're probably still very close. And we all know that Eileen was really Lisa Renna's ally when she was on the show. She had her back during the whole, you know, Amsterdam dinner and all of that stuff. So where in the hell did Crystal Kahn and Yankoff get the idea that they should bring back Eileen Davidson if it wasn't from Lisa Renna, who wants more allies on the show? You just said yourself, you never even met the woman, so why did she come to mind? Also saying, oh, bring Denise back, but only if Lisa Renna is the same. But what if she adjusts, right? And now, and haven't we seen, you know, Lisa Renna, in my personal opinion, you know, I think she's behind her, quote, threats and her mean tweets and bad Instagram posts that she's now posting trying to play the victim. Oh, they're attacking me. They're attacking my mom who passed away, you know, condolences. Um, you know, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is horrible. Look, I'm telling the truth. Blah, 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 blah. She's trying to play the victim and act like she's being threatened as well. But they're all coming from fake bot accounts. And the only people under fire for creating fake accounts is... Lisa Renna, Erica Jane, and Diana Jenkins, right? So why are you saying, oh, Lisa Renna can adjust, you know? And then who else said bring back Brandy Glanville? Erica Jane and Teddy Mellencamp. Don't forget, both Teddy and Erica said that they wanted Brandy to come back. Now, all of a sudden, Crystal Minkoff wants Brandy to come back because she likes a little crazy, Again, do you even know this woman, Crystal? What are you talking about? Why do why do you, Crystal, want Brandy to come back? That makes no sense unless it's coming from Lisa Renna, Erica Jane, Teddy, that whole camp, because Brandy is on their side and they know that they can use Brandy as a mouthpiece. Brandy did their dirty work against Denise Richards to get Denise off of the, the show with that hookup rumor. 
And Erica said, and Teddy said, they want to bring Brandy back to the show. Now Crystal is saying that. Crystal, your slip is showing, baby. Your slip is showing. In my Tyra Banks voice, we were all rooting for you, Crystal. We were all rooting for you, but who you are for the girl who, you know, doesn't like people who, oh, you don't see color. Your true colors are showing, Crystal. What is really good? You know, you want the protection of, you know, Garcelle. You want the protection of Sutton forgave me for what I said about her. You want the protection of being Kathy's friend, but yet, you're hanging out with Diana Jenkins. You're windmilling for Brandy Glanville and Eileen to come back, which literally makes no sense. No sense at all. So I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. Do you think that Crystal is just back to her old pick-me ways and she's just being used by the, the Fox Force 5 as they use everybody who becomes a pick-me in their orbit? Or do you think, no, it's cool. Crystal can hang out with whoever she wants. This doesn't mean that she's betraying Kathy, Garcelle, and Sutton. But it's not, but I mean, I don't know. Like, Garcelle won't even say Diana's name. Diana st is still doing the absolute most. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend. Because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. We've got tons of goodies down there. So go ahead and treat yourself. And with that, you guys, I love you. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Welcome to Sugar Pills, a practical guide to self-care. Where your host, writer, actor, and producer Candy Washington helps you live a more joyful life with a cheeky dash of pop culture news. Be sure to subscribe, leave a five star review, and join the conversation on Instagram at Candy Washington. Let's go.